All right, everybody. <clears throat> I apologize. I'm losing my voice today, but I'm going to show you quickly how you are supposed to be doing your noodle tool uh, note cards. So when you log in to noodle tools, it should automatically take you here to your uh, list of projects. You're going to select the project that we have been using, which is your band book project. You may have that titled with your book's title. Once you go into the project, it'll automatically take you to your dashboard. Please make sure that you have shared your project with um, the appropriate class period and uh, the band book project. And then you're going to come up here to these tabs up here at the top. You see them here. Uh, you have projects, dashboard, sources, and note cards. You're going to select note cards. And from here, when you click on the plus new, you'll get a uh, little pop-up here. I need to get rid of this here. That shows us what uh, the note card should look like. So there's a little bit of an outline and a note here for me. Don't forget. Don't forget the title for your note card, page number, and outline of tiers. Um, you can't really see the bottom part of it, but I also uh, said that when you do a note card, you should include the R and the E of tiers fully filled out. So each note card needs to be looking for one of two things. You need to have either um, evidence of how a character is characterized or um, how theme is being put together. So the best way to do theme is to look for the things that you see again and again, or the contrast and contradiction moments from our notice and note. So with that in mind, I'm going to share a uh, contrast and contradiction for Daisy from, um, from uh, sorry about that, from The Great Gatsby. So I would put in a title of characterization. And I'm going to use Daisy here. Um, and then I'm going to put a little dash shallow. Because this title now tells me what I'm going to use it for, which is characterization. What character I'm uh, going to use it for, which is Daisy. And then I'm going to try and show that she's shallow. So... Um, I'm going to say that this comes from, I'm going to make a wild stab in the dark here about what page it's from and just go with, I'm um, actually flipping through it. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, actually, oddly enough, I found the actual page it's on. All right. So it's actually on page 17 of the book that I opened up to. Um, and the quote that we're going to use is that she hopes that her daughter is a beautiful Fool is the one I used on our big example. Um, but here I'm going to say sophisticated. She says, sophisticated, God, I am sophisticated. But she's really not. She just wants to appear that way. So, and then put in a little dash because that's in here. And I spelled that wrong, so I'm going to come over here and fix this. All right. So I have my quotes on either side, and then I have to put in the character's name so that I know who said it. So what I now need to do is come over here for my tiers, outline my T I E R and S. So my evidence, I'm going to copy and paste the quote I just put in over there because that's going to be my evidence. So I just like went over, highlighted, hit Control C to copy, placed my cursor where I wanted to put it and hit Control V as in Victor to paste. So my R for relating the evidence. Here's where I'm going to explain what my evidence is supposed to prove. Um, so I'm gonna put a little note to myself This quote shows that Daisy um, thinks highly of herself. Um, later, you see how she is only concerned 
with how others see her and not actually being a good person. Oop, and it says a goo person, so let's put our D in there, good person. Okay, I don't know why the D and the rest of that word aren't going together. There we go, good person. So this is going to help me later on because later on when we finish our project, what we're going to be doing is actually going in and um, filling out the full tiers paragraph so that when you do the pieces of your project, so if you're doing the characterization project or the theme project, you're going to need, what you're going to be graded on is the paragraphs that you write using your evidence. So the creative part of it isn't going to be as important as this evidence that we're gathering right now. All right, so I'm going to hit save and close. And now I have my very first uh, note card. Now I have to figure out how to stop recording. <laughs>